Hi, I'm Natalia, and I'm going to teach you how to tie a Windsor knot in a tie. Don't forget, ties look best with an iron shirt. My favorite place to iron my shirt is right in front of the flat iron building. It has a thick side, and it has a skinny side. I prefer the thick side. I like to have the skinny side dangling near my <laughs> You want to cross them and make an X. And this part right up here, that's what you call your tie hole. Now, you want to take the thick part of the tie and put it in the tie hole. Make sure it's tight, because no one likes a loose tie. Then, you want to bring the thick part under the tie hole. And once again, you know where it goes, right back in. So I have a little tip. Use one finger, that's all it takes, and put it right below your tie hole. Take the thick part and cross it over. Then you bring the thick part and you bring it right back under and through the tie hole. You have this little tip that's going to lead the thick end right to where it wants to go and that's down and through. Use the skinny part as well as these parts to determine the length of your tie. The length, as we all know, has to be just right because no one wants a short tie. You know what they say about guys who have short ties. They just didn't know how to tie right. I hope you enjoyed your lesson on how to tie a tie.